Okay, now let us talk about this TD Jake social media witch hunt, which I'm finding very dangerous because this is someone's life, right? This is real life. He has a family. He has a name. He has his integrity. This is real life. And for people to be running with nothing more than allegations, dangerous allegations, it is so sad. You people just sitting and salvating and you just can't wait to see the fall of T.D. Jakes. I'm not a fan. I am not a fan of this man, right? But what I don't do, whether someone is innocent or guilty, I don't come up with my pitchfork. I don't do that, right? No, if T.D. Jakes is guilty, best believe the evidence will speak. The evidence will be put forward. You will get your DNA evidence. You'll get your photo evidence. You'll get your recorded evidence. You'll get your email evidence. You'll get your text message evidence. The evidence will be there. There's no need for us to run with allegations. This is real life. This is not a game. Talk is not cheap, right? You cannot have this man name circulating around social media based on allegations i've not heard or seen any court papers file i've not heard or seen any photos i've not heard or seen nothing as yet the fbi no one has come out with anything yet on this man but yet still the witch hunt is on everybody's out with their pitchfork ready and waiting as if you all are so innocent i'm not a fan of td jakes i'm not a fan but sitting and watch this witch hunt against him and others is unbelievable. It just goes to show you the nature of people. Right? If this man is guilty, best believe the most I will take him down. And he will take him down in spectacular fashion. No if nor buts. You don't have to ask any questions. You don't have to spread any allegations. The most I will take him down. Right? Himself. For all to see. But until then, why are we out here on social media with our pitchforks and our stones waiting for this man when we haven't seen a shred of evidence as yet? And that is why, you see, there are some things you simply cannot apologize for. You cannot levy these allegations and when no evidence turn up, you come out and say sorry. It don't work like that. You cannot drag this man through the mud and then expect to say sorry. Wait until the evidence is here before you start your witch hunt. And some of you need to have several seats because you need to get ready for what is happening, what is going to happen in 2024. You need to pay attention to your own salvation. Pay attention to what is happening in your own house, right? Before you're out here with stones and pitchforks right just salvating and waiting for this man to fall people whether you are in a top position or a middle position or a small position you all need to pay attention to people that that surround you right because what is happening in today's world everyone is looking for what i call the upper winfrey moment Everyone is looking for something to sit around a table with tea and coffee to, to, to discuss, right? With the pitchforks and the stones. They're waiting for the moment. Don't give people the moment. Pay attention to what is happening to these men, these witch hunt that is going on. Some with evidence, some without evidence, right? Let it be a lesson. Because I cannot understand what is going on. No police, no no um, court papers have been filed against him as yet. Right? We haven't seen any evidence against this man. But yet still, social media is coming out with so much against him. And I feel it might just be a big distraction going into January with what is supposed to be happening with the Epstein case. It just might be a distraction. We don't know. We just have to sit and wait for the evidence before we jump to conclusion because this man 
has a life. He's a real person. It's not a game. You can't be out here just leveling allegations left, right, and center. And until someone make an example out of a lot of you who like to point fingers, who like to come with your pitchforks and your stones, until an example is made out of you people, you will realize talk is not cheap. And not everybody is out here buying into the upper wind for a moment, right? A moment when you can sit and have tea and coffee and, and, and gossip and discuss somebody's future with your pitchforks and stones. Until somebody makes an example out of you, you realize talking cheap and some things you don't apologize for. You got no evidence. You got no proof. No court papers. No nothing. So why are you out here with your pitchforks and your stones? I'm telling you, man, I'm telling you, we're really in the end times. And some of us are judge, juror, executioner, and everything. We better mind our business because this house of cards is crumbling. Right? Pay attention to what's going to happen in 2024 in your house. Pay attention to your life and understand whatever is supposed to happen to T.D. Jakes, the most die is in control. Right? And until... The evidence is released. This witch hunt needs to stop. Right? We need to pray and say glory be to the most high. Oh, and another thing. Pay attention to the roses behind one of the portraits of TDJs. Because we know roses are affiliated with the fallen. So that is a whole different video right there that I'm paying attention to. Because this thing could well be a setup for something bigger that is coming. This old TD Jake's allegation could be something bigger that is coming. Because those red roads behind him, they are very telling. Well, we will still keep our eyes on this case. As I say, glory be to the most high.